Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Now available on Steam from RenderCube Games and Toplitz Productions. Hope you're having a great weekend. It is a Saturday, and we ain't got a cure for the summertime blues. Is our theme today because we have to make a trip up to see Sambor again. And uh, But... We do have a two for them because we have to go to Tootkey as part of that quest. And we have a quest from our wife to head over there. So let's get busy. If you missed yesterday's episode, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Turn on that bell icon so you know we go live or upload a video. And uh, join us on Discord. Link in the description below, as is our PayPal, if you want to make a contribution to help support the channel. Yeah, if you notice the thumbnail there, that dude was, head, uh, was ass overhead. <laughs> that was the result of... Uh, yeah, combat action uh, just up the hill from our village. And uh, yeah, it was quite funny. All right, so Unigoth story part four. Uh, we got to go back to Sambor. I know what he's going to do. He's going to send us uh, with a pack of a bag of poo. And we got, hello, Robin. How are you today? Welcome aboard. Hope you're having a great weekend. And then we've got this lost thing. Uh, we got to take a cane back to Rajmund, um, and that's for Ag for Agnes, our wife. So we're going to take care of those two things here, uh, real Rajmund quick. Used to say, when nothing hurts you, you are dead. Let's just make a quick inventory check. We got enough food, I think, to make things work for. Oh, we got a bunch of plums to sell too, among other things. We might as well. Yeah, you know what? We might as well absolutely might as well excuse me pardon me let's get in here and yeah 253 apples uh, do, can i have a cart can i get you want paper or plastic for that <laughs> uh let's save like i don't know maybe 30 or yeah 30 of them sounds good sure except the rest there's no point in trying to sell those we'll eat we're going to take these and sell them. That's 20 kilos. What other fruit we got? Oh, we got 135 cherries. So let's go ahead and grab those. And we got a whole bunch of pears. Let's grab those. And we got a whole bunch of plums and grab those. Why are you grabbing all this stuff, eh, train Because it really isn't going to do us any good. <laughs> really isn't going to do us any good. Uh, simply because um, we can't make anything with it. And it's so far down the people's demand with us having pottage, the people aren't going to eat it. Okay. And that being the case, um, it, it just, it, 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 what, what's going to happen is at season change tonight, because we're in day three of a three day season, everything's going to drop 12 and a half percent that's in storage here. So these would have, will have dropped from 100% to 87.5%. When you go to sell that, that means you only get 87.5% of the price. Okay? So, yeah, we can get a lot more money out of it by um, just selling it now while it's at 100%. If you have a market, that's a different story. But for us and our situation here, um, yeah, this is, well, we might check and see if there's a couple other things we can go sell. Let me check our bag situation here real quick. We have four. Okay, we probably don't want to sell any bags. I think we cut production to one a day or less. Yeah, we got two. Animal feed, beer, uh, let me see. I got nine kilos I can spare. Let's get that out of here. I think we got some junk. Da, 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 da. We got a copper axe. That was something we found. Or we, 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 we acquired from someone who's no longer with us. They they met their pixelated demise. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm, that too. And what else? What else? What else? What else? So 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 do 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 all the strange deer figurines sell for 30 each. We took those from the clay pits over by Sambor's place. After you complete the quest, then he's uh, someone you go to to get toys for your kid. Hmm. Hmm. Wine bottle. Hmm. 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 
bottle. Don't need that. We got an extra water skin. We got a bunch of extra water skins. I can't. That's a lot to carry. Oh, that's not too much. All right, we'll eat some of our food that's on us. That's point four. All right, let's leave just a few of these behind. I feel like seven of them. That's not going to do it. Cl well, close. That's close enough. All right, cool. So now, um, it's, I mean, we're close on our weight limit here. Let's, let's hit the road because it... Uh, a couple of things to this one we want to um, we're, we're gonna save a little bit of time here oh well yeah um, let me just eat that one one thing of meat is going to get us under boom perfect 79.99 how you like that I don't want to burn a potion of weight here. And I don't want to waste time running. I know we could get a donkey and that would be quicker and all that good stuff. But what we can do is we'll, we'll chip a little bit of time off. It'll cost a few coins. We're going to make a bunch of coins. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I don't remember if we've cleared out the people in... Uh, we'll hit uh, we'll go across the top of the map okay I've got it figured out now so we're gonna run over here to uber we're gonna uber across the river I know that seems stupid but it's just gonna save a couple minutes because I mean we're it's 0826 um, is there anything we're missing here nope It just gives us a little bit of a jump on the time because we got a lot of a lot of traveling to do. We're going to go all the way from Sambor's place, which is in the northeast corner. Hang on, I'll show you. Sambor's place is here. And then we're going to we got to travel overland to Tutki. Now we can get the Branica, Baranica, whatever. And then Uber over to Tutki, and that would be fine. You know something that may be a thought too because if we save that time what we could do then is just uber back to Branica and hit the cave and get some tin ore for our guy our smithy and then we should have time to get home but that takes care of two quest things actually it there's there's a bit more to it than that so we're just going to make this distance here and then we're going to make the run out so, you? need a ride to Borowo. 40 coins. We're going to more than make that up with the stuff we have to sell. We're not going to sell right now. Yeah, we. You know what? Let's check the chicken chick. Let's see if she's got any money. If we can just lighten our load a little bit, my concern being. Hello, Inga. Do do? Good. She got no money. Have a good day. All right. Let's save that. Waiting on the fence guy. You're waiting on the fence. Um, we're going this way. Why are you going that way, eh, train? For one, it may unlock a couple of um, animal spawns we haven't unlocked as yet. One, two... Even though we have just very thoroughly kicked a whole lot of ass so far this season. Oh, shoot. There wasn't. Where are they? Crap. Didn't think about that one. Oh, damn. We're heading straight for him. All right. We're going to detour to... Hmm. Let's detour to the south. I do not have the load capacity right now to deal with that. 
All right. All right, there's Fox spawn. Fox one missile away. Got Foxy. Moratorium is still in place. Okay. This is some crappy weather for the summer. I'm trying to remember if we actually had scanned all this area. Or if that was in the spring. Uh, yes, we have because the wolves are, yeah, the wolves are dead. Okay, cool. All right, good. Let's just punch it then. We're past the one camp spawn, which means the other camp spawn's not up here. And I can't, I, I'm trying to think if it's this season we've killed 13 bandits. I mean, and this this is where you'll see a, a pike camp spawn. So a defended camp at this spot right here. And it's on the map. It looks like a little cul-de-sac, right? So it's right here. See this thing right here? Yeah, that's a spawn point. I mean, it can't, they can't make it any clearer than that. And you'll have pikes, so you'll see it when you're approaching. Unless you're coming from Sambor's place, in which case you got to be careful. Because you're coming around that corner, it's like, surprise, four guys jump you. And yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a party up in here. And it's going to be at your expense. All right, doo-doo head. The parcel ready? Yeah, nice and warm and ready. Did you say warm? Did you, you're pretty sure that, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Yes, he crapped in a, in a sack, and now we have to deliver it to Walrad. And this is another reason why I, I tell folks, take your time. Don't start the Unigost quest. I mean, you, you, have to, you have to initiate it. Piggy. Multiple piggies. That one's closer. Keep running, just keep running. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he came after us. He tried to make a run at us. Gotta watch those pigs in the swamp. I didn't know pigs hung out in swamps, but it doesn't surprise me, I guess. Arkansas types. There can be an abandoned camp on the left there. I, I, in fact, there may be a couple of guys at the camp sometimes. So it's not always abandoned. Watch for a fire. That's, your, that's the tell. Deer on the right. There's wolves past the deer. Uh, I don't think we've been down this path. Yeah, we've been far enough to at least... Yeah, no, we're not going to go left. Again, I don't want to deal with having to shoot anything and haul off carcass and get overweight. I want to expedite. Uh, but again, this is why I say take your time. So you have to talk to the Unigos to make first contact because that's how you start your ability to build everything and whatever. He gives you permission. And then he tells you to go see his wife. And so she's the tavern keeper. And that starts a quest line, but it's brief. I mean, it's not brief. You have to go to uh, Rolnica, where you have to talk to somebody in Gustovia. Then you have to go to Rolnica, and then you go halfway back to the waterfall, and then you go back to Rolnica, and then you go back to Gustovia, and then that takes care of it. Okay. Have you ever done any quest for the king? All right, there's the sheep. Ah, here we are. There's some Norbert here. Oh, it's you again. All right, Norbert, uh, you got some money. I got some stuff to sell you here. Buy a bunch of these. And buy this. And buy this. And that. And that. And buy these. And that's lightened our load. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Buy that. Keep that. This is going to break him. There we go. Cool. But I'm going to buy some stuff back from him. 
Well, I could. Yeah, I can buy a couple. Two of those. Hmm. Um. Actually, no. We've got our girl. Um. Working in the herbalist hut, Nawoja. Is it Nawoja? Naslawa. We moved her from the seamstress, uh, the sewing hut to. Uh, the herbalist hut and we put the new girl in the same uh, sewing hut so Neslawa she uh, she can make potions for us come autumn we have her gathering a bunch of stuff right now so she's just walking around picking stuff up that's easier on her back right you're going and pulling weeds and flowers yeah all right uh, oh yeah show me your wares Damn. now you got 34 coins here buy some more pears from me you look hungry there we go See you soon. All right, let's go see the sheep seller, the sheep keeper, sheep, the shepherd. Hello, Alina, hey, battle angel. Best goods in the realm. Best goods in the realm. Okay. Here, have some fruit and some plums too. And what else we got? We can sell you. We got some water skins. Yeah water up here to give to your sheep okay we're down to uh, fairly light combat load she is out well she's not out of money but we took care of it so long. cool all right now uh, this is gonna this is gonna seem a little dumb but it's not totally dumb if it's stupid but it works it's not stupid right uh, we can grab some henbane while we're up here I need to ditch this when I get home. Five at a time is what we want. If we look at it this way, that's Henbane right there. That's St. John's Wort with dandelions at the base of it. So those are dandelions. Those are daisies. Dandelions, daisies. Recognize the difference. With the Henbane. And there's another Henbane. I just saw it. Wait, what, what? it's right there. 35. Okay, nice even number. Good. All right, watch that north cave. I think we've already been by here, so we know there's no pikes, so there's no squatters. Oh, there is this. Take that. Take that. Take, nah, I don't want the stone. Oh, that's salt. Not we can we can sell that. I want that. Okay, so you watch these for these barrels right here, right over outside the cave. Um. This is going to be like Czechoslovakia. We zip in. We zip out. How is life treating you? You ride the toot key. It would take us like two minutes to, you know, run. But, okay. So now. All right, this is the quest for the with this knucklehead that we got to talk to, Walrad. All right, and you do not... Sambor sent you with a package. Number two, haha. -ha. It's kind of funny. Uh, okay, my uncle was the Castellan. There, there's a whole this whole thing about the story. If you want to see this, maybe go back through back episodes. He's just telling us another star of the story. The menacing phantoms. Everybody's got a different name for the group, right? It is. I need to build a palisade. Okay. Need some logs. That's where I need your help. Okay, this is stupid. He needs a thousand logs. Okay. Make things right. Yeah, nope. All right. So we bought this cow. He needs us to kill a cow. That's ultimately. Okay. So 
we're just going to go kill his cow. And it is... Oh, wait, we got to talk to the wife. And then... Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Jesus. The hell did that freaking donkey just sneeze or something? Dude. That was weird. All right, so you got to go over here and kill the cow. All right. Is that right? I just want to make sure. Yeah, so bring a thousand logs. We didn't do that. You don't have to. There's ways you can do it, but stupid. Uh, deal with the cow situation. Is this the, I think this is the cow. Okay, that takes care of it. That takes care of the cow. And now, we'll go ahead and take advantage of the cow situation. Okay, we got some meat. And then we got to go back over and talk to him. We finished that. And we also got to find this dude for the other. All right, I killed it. So you wanted wanted to know things a story about the pack then uh you weren't in the pack blah 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 special dice cheat this blah 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 kestrel okay you should go talk to unigost okay uh all right till next time all right so now let's get over to the other quest so we can knock this out this is the one for our wife we don't want to screw that up Take the cane back to whoever the hell. Oh, this, this dude's over here. He's the hunter. Hello. Get me over the fence. Thank you. Regiment, here you're with your cane. Not worried about it. She's half as good at woodworking as she is at telling jokes. I'm, jokes? You're kidding me. I understand. She's hilarious. Easily the funniest person I've ever met. My stomach still hurts from the laughter. You're a lucky man. It's impossible to get bored with a woman like that. I, I, I might be in dream. I need to go. <laughs> you found out your wife's a, fu a funny person. Well, oh, okay. All right. So now, see, it's two. Even with that, it's already 2 p.m. <laughs> um, we need to check the field situation because we don't have any cabbage set up. So that field is set. And we could do half cabbage again. Let me look in here real quick. And then do winter wheat again. So if we go to food storage and then click here, you can see what you got. So we got 350 cabbage. That's a lot of pottage. So I'm thinking we may not need more. And even it could degrade all the way down to whatever. If you cook something... It doesn't matter. It's going to go back to 100%. Okay. It degrades 12.5% per season while it's in food storage. But if you cook it, then whatever you make is 100%. Like, you know, the meat, the very little is 100%. She should be taking the oldest stuff um, to make pottage. And I think we've still got, do we still have beetroot or did we use, oh, we still have beetroot. So we need to go make some soup. And see, even though they're at 62.5 and they'll be at 50. Oh, uh, yeah, we need to get rid of This is the old beetroot. This is from last year. That's why it's a 62.5. So we harvest it in autumn. So you lose 12.5% going into winter, 12.5% in the spring, 12.5% into summer. So that's 37.5%. Cha-ching. There you go. That's how it works. You just don't want to get hung out to dry with, with food in your pocket. Then it rots 50%. And then, you know, you're kind of screwed. So, um, the question is, back to the field situation. Is our girl done? And I think she is. That field's cooking. That's cooking. This is cooking. That's done. And this is done. So, hmm. We might as well have her plant half this field. Okay, so we're going to change out. This is flax. So we're going to double click on cabbage. And then we'll click on that. And then we'll drag and just have her do half the field. That's it. So that will give her something to do for the rest of the day. If she doesn't finish, 
We can finish if 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 we don't get done, it's not a big deal. Okay, because it's kind of late in the day. It'll probably take her most of the the rest of the day to get that done. Uh, so with that in mind, let me check one more thing here. Let's go back into management and check our inventory and resource storage, and see what we're looking at tin ore wise. 75 that's quite a bit but you know something i'd rather have more than less all right so we're going to uber back to how do you do we're just saving time here branica and that puts us on the cave side take a left so now we're going to do a couple of things. First off, let's kind of grab these real quick. Cool. All right. So, we're going to grab our trusty iron pickaxe. Now, the smart way to mine, okay, is to build a resource storage building. Let me show you where. Right here. Right here. Okay, why right there, A-Train? Because then the ramp actually faces the cave. Okay. So we go boom, 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 right there, just like that. Move, just put it as close as you can, you know, whatever. And that way you just run in and out. And when you come up here to mine, drop all your heavy crap. Like I would drop my crossbow, um, axes, bolts, hammer, all this stuff. This is taking up weight that otherwise could be ore, okay? So... You want to be as light as possible going into the cave. Take your potion of weight and a potion of strength. Why why potion of weight and potion of strength, that train? I'm about to show you, okay? Watch this. That's copper, all right? Watch how many wax it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. Two, three, four, okay? So that's four cracks on our tool. Now, if I go down here and take a potion of strength, okay? That's salt. We don't want to deal with salt. Uh, that's tin ore. Watch this. Okay. We've just not only reduced our stamina burn 25%, but the wear and tear on our tool 25%. The other thing we can do here is go ahead and take a potion of weight. Although we don't need it yet, it'll last several minutes, and we're, we're not clearing the whole cave. This is not a typical mining operation. We're after tin ore only. Why is that, A-Train? Because we have a guy gathering copper. Your excavation hut guy can gather copper for you. All right? So he's getting busy doing that. Plus, this means this is 25% faster. Am I, are you picking up what I'm laying down here? So the key is to get tin because you need tin and copper to make bronze. Okay, now, see how we're showing to be heavy? Drop the stones. And this is where it helps to have the resource storage building outside. Okay, that's 49 kilos of, st 49 kilos of stones I just fumbled in trying to drop because I didn't hit the X first. Okay, X, E, F. All right. Oh, we did, what the hell? Give me the apples back. That was dumb. Back in the inventory. Click on stones. Dumbass. X, E, F. Okay, that's 49 kilos down. Okay. <clears throat> each stone and each chunk of, you know, ore is one kilo. Now, having the potion of weight going, that takes us because we're maxed out on mule. And we have the simple large backpack and the large pouch. We can carry 80 kilos. So, you take that... Um, You take the potion of weight. Now, there's one other option. I think it's a bread or something I saw that actually gives you plus 30 uh, weight. Let me see if it's, is it the rod? The oat roll? No, that's less stamina consumption. All right. I think it was the rye bread. I don't remember. All right. Anyway, 
So we're max dial and wait again. So having that resource storage building outside means you can just shuttle in here, knock this stuff out, haul it all out there, throw it in resource storage, and boom, it's available back at your village. Okay, they're all interconnected. White stuff is salt. Copper looking stuff is copper. Okay. I have my brightness at 125% as well, so that helps. Okay. This is 10 right here. Okay. Now, we're getting close. So we're going to drop the stones, and we just got to make sure we're below 100 kilos, okay, because that's our max. Okay, we got 86. What about salt, A-Train? What about salt? You don't need salt. It's not that, I mean, you need some salt for heart, uh, for your heart um, chemistry, but not too much. Uh, salted meat to me is a waste. It, it does things for you, but it dehydrates you. Um, you know, if you want to salt stuff and sell it, whatever. Knock yourself out. All right. X, E, F. And that takes us to 94. So we can get like one more deposit here. Nope, I don't want that one. Did I, did I get them all? Oh, man, seriously? Am I all out of freaking tin? There is not as much tin as there is copper, and there's a reason for that, and that's the devs don't want you to be able to make as much bronze as you'd like to make. They'll make it easy for you. Well, poop, I guess we have... Oh, we might as well get the copper then. Now, see, that gave us four copper ore and... Salt is half... It's 0.5 kilos per. But again, there's no... If you've got a couple of salt in inventory, maybe you pick them up somewhere along the way, that's fine because maybe you have a quest that you have to create that for. But you also have to have something unlocked in the... Uh, hunt, you have the salting barrel unlocked in the uh, hunting lodge. Okay? So what we're going to do is drop the stone. And see, we're at 103. Drop the salt. We're at 102, and now we're going to drop the pickaxe, and that's going to get us below weight. But the key is now we just got to get home before the weight buff runs out. However, see, it's 16.57. We're going to Uber to Gustovia and run home from there. It'll be a little bit quicker. We could oh, Uber to Danica. Um, Danica's cheaper. Not that 20 coins means much, but... All right, let's load up. Up and go. Get away. That's right, run away. Be smart, kitty. Don't turn back on me. One chomped on me a couple episodes back, and that did not make me happy. So the moratorium is in question. What moratorium, eh, Train? The moratorium on hunting lynx. They're cute fuzzy ears and big paws and stuff. I just I think I think one felt threatened because I was running and it was it just happened to be running back my direction and it may have been near the edge of its spawn radius so it didn't have a choice and then it attacked me and i was like that just ain't cool i'm just saying not cool dude bad kitty that's a bad kitty henbane more henbane yeah, there's some right there you ran right past it Just grabbing a little bit extra. I mean, it's on the way. 
some more right here some more right here there we go multiple of five that's what you want multiples of five when it comes to um, henbane and stuff we also got all this hops here that I guess we could um, oh nope oh you know what she she may well have gathered that I don't know what time is it all right, it's 1814, so she's off work. So now the question is, did she get the field done? That's one, two, three. It looks like it. Looks like she got it done. Awesome. Let's go back. Let's go into management. Let's just check. Um, yeah. Boom. She got it done. Sweet. Who's in? Who is our farmer? Oh, Frida. No wonder. She's a five now. Mm-hmm. Skill level five, that's why she got it done. Uh, okay, let's dump the tin ore we've got. We can put this away so we don't scare people. Accidentally shoot someone in the face. You know, I don't think you can shoot NPCs. All right, copper ore, let's ditch that. And iron ore, ditch that. And leather, ditch that. 63 tin ore, that's awesome. Ditch these. Uh, we don't need this don't need that don't need that don't need that much of that but that's okay um okay that guy's most of the way up on food uh we could eat the onions or the roasted meat I'll guess most of the way there, and boom, 100%. Okay, now we're going to drop all our food. Put all your food up before the end of the season. Don't cook anything at this point. Wait till the beginning of the next season. And then check and see if anything's going to... If anything's below 50%, just chuck it wherever you put your... Um, and it's okay. That'll be all right. We'll use that next. It'll drop to 37.5. Um, anything below 50%. It'll drop to 37.5%. So really, if you're below 42.5, if you're below that, whatever it is, is going to spoil. Now, I'm not sure if you can still cook with it, but you'd be better off just putting it out like I do in a wicker crate and letting it rot, and then you're good to go. All right, so now, a couple of farming matters we need to take care of. Uh, one being gathering manure. There we go. We didn't even disturb them. Nicely done. Okay. And we could go gather eggs and stuff, but I would rather leave them in the coop, actually. So we'll make some more fertilizer. I think you've been jerking off too much. Wait, what? All right, we're pretty close on weight here. You know what? I'm going to hold that. Hang on. Let me grab one of these, another one of these, this, another one of these. Um, I'll get those out of um, deal. Sure, I'll do. Let right, me go grab a couple of bags. I'm going to start dragging stuff over to the other farm shed so it's more centrally located. And we need to make some animal feed. Throw an extra bag in here. Check the chickens. 
No, we're not going to choke the chickens. We're going to check the chickens. Pay attention. That. 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 Okay, now we got tools to satisfy and all that good stuff. Okay. Let's go check the chickens. We're just going to check the feed situation. So, I mean, they all, got, they all got a bunch of eggs and stuff, but we're not, fu we're not fussed about that. Uh, actually, we can just fill it. Cool. I want to wait to gather the eggs until the beginning of next season. Um, shoot, I didn't think of that. I should have just put the extra feed in here, but I didn't. All right, so speaking of animal feed, let's go make some animal feed. It takes um, 10 straw. And then we need 100 each. Oat grain and rye grain. R E F. I'll make a hundred. Sweet. This is the key to me. Animal feed has gotten cheaper, so if you want to just run around, um, you know, making. Uh, I mean, buying animal feed that's fine. But to me, before you get poop machines, i.e., pigs, okay, you need to square away the logistics of making animal feed. So what you need is a dedicated field. In our case, we have a 30 by 30 field right there that we plant oat in the spring and then plant rye in the fall, in autumn. And then when you come in and thresh that on the floor, you get the rye grain, the oat grain, and then you get um, um, straw. So you need, you need lots of straw, okay? And then if you grow wheat as well when you thresh the wheat you'll get straw as a byproduct of that as well so you can stockpile that because that that becomes the big deal your extra oat grain and wheat grain oat grain and rye grain you can use to make bread in the kitchen when you unlock kitchen too you can make flour out of it at the kern kern whatever the wheel in the barn to make flour to make bread uh you can use it to plant and you can sell it. So you've got options. All right. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Hey, Barla, how are you today? Welcome aboard. So I think the fields are all set. So in autumn, everything will harvest. These two oat fields will harvest, the beetroot will harvest, and the cabbage will harvest. And then she'll go in the process of refertilizing everything okay so that's why oh you know what in fact let's see how much manure we've got in here and then firewood we're about to roll in autumn oh there's fertilizer right there let's grab that and lots of manure We are almost maxed out on weight. I don't think so. Drop that. I'm going to put some in here, I guess. Let's put like 80. Yeah. No, you know what? Let's just put a whole bunch. The honey fitty. Okay. So that way, if we want during winter time, if we need to assign her to, you know, do something, we can have her just make fertilizer. That's simple. Simple. Cool. All right. So there's 75 fertilizer. Um, we're going to put some, actually, we're going to, I guess, continue 
to focus on here. There we go. Cool. That lightens storage up a little bit. Now let's take a look in storage here and see where we stand. Take those. I'm going to take this. Take this. There's a lot of tools and stuff. We're going to put those in the ground. That's a lot of clay. Hmm. And we could do we could make some daub with that. Uh, let me not get too off track here. So 251 firewood. That's 1,255 uh, BTU of firewood. We got a lot of fur, fur too. 1,255 BTU of firewood, huh? Oh, looky there. It's like I knew what I was doing. Just saying, gang. Trust the A train. Oh, pardon me. get all pissed off like dude you, you got eyes you can see where you're walking too um i'm gonna put that in there we still got bronze axes in here boop 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 i guess we'll leave the bronze shovel in here since there's still one over there if you're not gathering clay then you don't have to have a shovel. So for the excavation hut, this is the way it works. Let's take a look at that real quick so you understand. Excavation shed, you can pull five things now, including copper. That's the new ad. Stone, they pick up by hand. Clay, you got to have a shovel for. Limestone, you got to have a pickaxe for. And straw, you just, it's gathered by hand. So you got to have a pickaxe then for copper as well. So limestone and copper, you got to have pickaxe. Okay. Stone and straw is by hand. And um, then uh, clay is a shovel. Okay, so those are the tools you have to have available for your people to do that pickaxe or shovel. Okay. That is how that works. Now, what we can do is grab some clay maybe no, not maybe not that much a oh, hundred honey yeah honey clay this is something else you can have your barn worker do we could shift all the clay over well you don't want all the clay over here um, with the issue being then if you have your potters at the um, workshop making stuff making you know like clay pots or bowls or vials for potions they can't access the clay if it's in the barn storage okay so that's why it helps to keep stuff in resource storage but it also adds up to the weight on resource storage am i making sense all right so there's a hundred daub boom done 37. Why do we have 37? What's our weight issue? Ah, 500 straw. Kind of makes sense. We can just drop that here. All right. Now we're down the below combat weight. Or we're in the combat weight uh, realm. Potion of temperature. I'm going to dump. We'll hold one potion of weight. Instant cure we don't need. Okay. There. That lightens that up a little bit. Um, the other thing is just because we carry our hammer around with us. So that's an extra two kilos. And we carry an axe with us because that's our primary melee weapon. Okay. Sweet. And I think we're good. I don't think we need to fart around and do anything else. Let's just jump into the next season. 
wait, did I still have? Nope, I cleaned out the henbane and all that stuff. All right. See what's happening now. Uh-oh, you feel inspired. You want to encourage your people to work harder. You could deliver a speech which would should put them in the right spirit. However, a poor one may have a discouraging effect. Our diplomacy skill kind of sucks. But we'll try. Villagers work 15% more efficient. Hooray. How'd I wind up in the kid's bed? Where's the kid? Agnes, where's the kid? Switch out to our noble boots. Swap out for our simple tunic. And there we go. Okay. All right. Quick save and talk to Agnes, your husband. Can't seem to find our son. Wait, what what happened? Did I fail my quest with her? I thought I'd lost. Oh, look for your son. Oh. Okay. Well, let's look for our son. Um, let's see if there's any hints here though, so let's get locked in on that. Nineteen meters this way. Wait a minute. No, he's the other way. He's over here. Oh, he's playing. Oh, no, we're, we're running around looking for him. You're back. We lost nine more. He's not what you mean. A traveler brought him home just now. We were lucky he came across our little guy. You should talk to him. Maybe be polite to offer him some kind of reward. Of course, that's a good idea. Be reasonable, of course. Talk to the traveler. Uh, well, where's the traveler? Is that the traveler right there? I bet that's the traveler. Hang on. All right, then. Keep your position. Why is the traveler 400 meters that way? There's our kid. Good day. You found something. Bole mushroom. Um, hang on. He's going to go out and start goofing around. Good day. Oh, affection change plus three. That's good. Okay. Where is this guy on the map? Oh, I don't have it on the right filter. Okay, the traveler's over at the Uber stop by Gustovia. So, that means... Uh, okay, wait, we need to do something because our girl's starting to go out to the fields. Let's adjust this real quick. Um, so here, she's going to go harvest that. So we change this to rye. And then... 
and then uh, we can do the same thing with this. Whoops, do the same thing with this field. We could. 20, 24 versus 30. We have tons of rye. All right. And that, I think, oh, and winter wheat. I think I want to have her prep this field. Let's set it for flax and she'll fertilize it. So it'll be the last thing on her list. All right, let's see what we got and uh, we'll try to clear some things out here. We've got a couple of bronze hammers we can go sell. Keep one in storage for the smithy. A bronze sickle we can sell. Could sell some of this apple wine. Sell two of them. For shoes. Iron axes. That's a lot of extra weight in here. Let's sell the crappy ones. Tons of iron knives. <laughs> sell that. Lots of linen thread, quite a bit of linen fabric. That's all good. Oak grain, planks, blah, blah, blah. Potions, we're making po- Jesus. Oh, oi. Yeah, those potions sell pretty good. Let's sell like several of those. Uh, is that what our girl's doing? No, we need to change up what our girl's doing in um, the... Um, Um, herbalist hut. Yeah, what I said. Trousers with cuffs. Uh, the water skins. I want to show one with water. Oh, okay. I don't know. Sell that. Boop, 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 boop. Up. Okay. 40 kilos. Let's make 40 bowls of something. Okay, cool. Oh, we need to stock up on food, too. All right, uh, herbalist hut. Change seasons, you got to change what you're doing in the herbalist hut. And that is a pain in the ass. Okay, so all this stuff is invalid seasons. We close it out. So in autumn, you can gather the six other mushrooms besides morel. Morel mushrooms are spring only, and those are used to make scrambled eggs with mushrooms. Also known as completely useless stuff okay don't don't bother with it hello canaris design howdy howdy and welcome aboard how are you today happy saturday to you and yours uh we've probably got enough broadleaf plantain and chicory so what we could do is actually start her working in on potions now so morel mushrooms are springtime and they're used to make scrambled eggs with mushrooms and like i said scrambled eggs and scrambled eggs with mushrooms are useless okay make pottage all right your people aren't going to eat it if you've got something better so if you're going to if you're going to have chickens and you're going to have eggs the objective is to unlock kitchen two and make bread wheat bread being the smart one okay otherwise sell the eggs but you're otherwise you're you're feeding stuff 
I don't know what the how much animal feed costs to how much eggs sell for. But you see what I'm saying? All right. So then you've got bole, parasol, and red pine mushrooms. Those are the non-poisonous kind. Those with one meat and a wooden bowl gives you mushroom soup. And that's useless as well. I'll show you. Woolly milk cap, bitter bole, and fly agaric, which is also I like to call the Mario Kart mushroom. It's red with white spots. Am I a flat a flatbread dynasty? Cool. Uh, <clears throat> no, we're not a flatbread dynasty. Here's why. Uh, if you're, if you're, uh, did you say you play medieval dynasty? Uh, I'm going to show you why I don't bother with flatbread. Um, although I think the devs were listening to things I was saying and they made a change um, to incorporate flatbread into the game more. I used to like it. On 1.0, flatbread with onions is a good thing to make. But wheat bread is the best bread to make in, in our analysis. And I say our analysis because we did like a half an episode where we made one of every kind of bread so you could see the breakdown of what all it gives you. Oh, you've kept up? Okay, cool. All right, so anyway, Mario Kart mushrooms. So woolly milk cap, bitter bole, and fly agaric, those are used for potions. In fact, I think one of each is used along with a bottle of mead to make the um, potion of possibilities, which allows you to reset all your skill stuff. So now, let's look at the people's demand control list. And this is why I'm talking down about scrambled eggs, among other things. If we scroll down, okay, this is where people will eat whatever's first available on the list. So our people today get a nice little break. They're going to start eating this cheese, okay? And cheese is a lot of calories, so, you know, that's going to take care of them for a bit. You can't make any of this stuff unless you've got the tavern unlocked. You can't make <clears throat> cheese or vegetable soup or any of the breads or porridge with apple, I think, unless you have Kitchen 2 unlocked. Oh, the flatbread mafia. That's right. Yeah, she's on the flatbread. I'm a wheat bread guy. Yeah, no, flatbread's good for frisbees. You toss them at each other, I guess. Um, so look down the list here. Scrambled eggs are 40th on the list. People would rather have roasted fish meat or roasted fish. They'd rather have mushroom soup. Okay. They'd rather have just straight fish or gruel or salted meat all right or flatbread okay before scrambled eggs and even if you go up to scrambled eggs with mushrooms which is way up the list considering you just went from scrambled you know it's 25 points up the list that's a little ridiculous i wouldn't bother with it it only sells for like 12 per make pottage pottage is is life okay mushroom soup useless you can have your people gather stuff and you can make it whatever until they incorporate though into the game where your people's demand where they demand a variety of food okay so again i i, I go back to yes this list this list is is odd this is the way the game generates it and it's changed from 1.0 to 2.0 of course we're on 2.0 which includes the oxbow um, and it's currently only available on PC for Steam, or Steam for PC. It's in the works for everything else. But the list changed because on 1.0, She's My Cherry Pie is number one on the list. Okay, so this list is completely different. Um, soup is higher ranked than pottage. Soup sells more for more than pottage does, but apparently the people love pottage more than they love soup. And then the porridge thing, eh, you know whatever if you want to make it fine but for me there's four items that I make for my villagers and that is cheese of course this is all cheese I picked up off bad guys cheese wheat bread pottage and soup that's it but if you have something up here having something down here is completely irrelevant because they're not going to touch it unless they consume everything above it on the list so I'm hoping they'll do like Farthest Frontier and reevaluate this to where your people maybe want, because your people 
have cauldrons and fires in their homes. In case you didn't notice that, you built the homes, right? They're the same. Okay. So you can go into anybody's home and cook. All right. Well, guess what they could do? They could cook too. So as long as you have, to, in my estimation, if you have the raw materials, meat, cabbage, onion, beetroot, whatever, carrots, if you have those available for your people in food storage, then they should come and collect those along with wooden bowls or plates and go cook what they want for themselves which kind of negates the whole purpose of the kitchen. It's, it's just based on, I don't know what it's based on. Um, you know, the devs just said, hey, you know, this is what we want. The, the higher stuff is on the list, the higher its resale value. The more nourishing it is, the more calories it gives you. Like cheese gives you like 90 calories. Wheat, the breads give you 80 so the tarts, I think, will, will just fill you up. If, you're, if your stomach's empty, they'll fill you up. And the difference in 2.0 versus 1.0 is the various foods have uh, benefits to them. Oops, hang on. we got one thing to do. Let me kick back over here and Herbalist Hut. So she's got no assignments. Um, so let's get her making potions. And we just focus on, let's see, what does the potion of temperature take? Hops. Oh, uh, what? Um, my girl, I guess, didn't get to gathering hops, and I didn't think to gather hops. Damn it. I I did not think of doing that at all, and I should have. What a blockhead. Okay, memo to me. Make sure we gather hops. We got more plant seedlings. So, okay, no big deal. All right. So, back to re what we were doing here. All right, herbless hut. So, we're not going to do those we're going to do potions of strength and weight those are the two i like to make most of let's do like can i get an even ah there you go there's an even number potions of weight now this takes more more to it i don't know why but it takes more so that just took a big old chunk of the work intensity uh we can do potions of stamina That's about two per day. And then potions of healing. Yeah. Let's get some of those cranking. Cool. All right. So now our girl's got something to do. Um, now, let's go back to the food discussion. All right. So we come in here. So apples. Plus three food, plus two water. And for 15 seconds, you pick up an extra half point of health. Yeah, they're, they're different potions, you know, take different amounts of effort. The other thing is the girl uh, that we've got working in the herbalist hut in Islawa had built up all her points as a seamstress. She's pregnant, though. So I've got her working in the herbalist hut to build us up on, oh, you know what? Let me think that through. I've got her working there until she has her baby, and I'm not sure if it's this next season or later let's drop this back down and let's punch that's fine that'll work rebalance it all right so um but you see there there you pick up seven and a half health when you eat an apple so you don't want to pound them down you want to eat one let it you know do its thing over 15 seconds, eat another. Beetroot doesn't do anything for you. Cabbage doesn't do anything for you. Cheese, grommet, is plus 90 food, and then for 15 minutes, you have 50% 15, less stamina consumption. Now, to make it worth it, you really need to let yourself get hungry. So once you get down below about 20%, it's worth it. All right? Meat doesn't do anything. It'll poison you if you eat it raw. Oat roll. Now, this I'm actually going to take. Plus 80 food, and then for three minutes, it's 10% less stamina consumption. Why are you taking the A train? Because that's my that's my backup. I'll eat stuff that I find or, you know, 
we'll grab some of these onions. Like, we'll take the oldest stuff. Grab these onions, and we'll grab this onion. And so we got all this pottage here, and then we got this roasted meat. And we're actually going to take this roasted fish meat because that's going to spoil pretty soon. And we'll just let the clock work on this. Okay, so we've got our, our chef lady, our cook, making pottage for the masses. Now, beetroot's down to 50%. Beetroot's on in harvest right now. So we, got, we just need to get rid of that. Wait, I picked up 40 bowls, didn't I? I think I did. Yep, I did. All right, so we're going to make 40 beetroot. I mean, soup. All right, so it's 431. So we need 160 meat. So we'll take the oldest available. There's 24, 42, and then that gives us 66. So we need 94. We'll take all this. And then we need like seven more. Okay, does so that give us 100 or 160? 87 and 7 is 94. 6, 100, 160. Cool. All right, and then we need uh, 120 beetroot. Okay, so you need four meat, three beetroot, and then a bowl. Okay, so we're going to craft us up 40 things of soup. And since we got to go to Gastovia, we're going to go to Gastovia. Gostovia. However the f they want us to pronounce it. All right, swell. So we got that to... <laughs> Whoa, okay. Thanks, lady. Appreciate you looking out for us. All right. So let's um, let's take a look at something here. So Agnes is getting less happy. I think she's unhappy because we didn't. No, we're in the middle of the quest. Oh, we're in the middle of the quest. She's unhappy because our son's missing. Right. This is what I want to see. No, that's not what we want to see. This is what we want to see. We're getting towards Sewing Hut 2. we got to get the kitchen too. And then the market stall will be nice too, but that's a 1,000 points further down. I could do this so quick, but the problem is we're not playing that way. We're playing this completely different. We're playing this where we are limited in our what we can do. We're a farmer and a hunter. And we can go in a cave and, you know, swing a pickaxe. <laughs> And chop deposits of stuff that are obviously sticking out of the wall. And we can cook a few dishes. All right. Any good stuff here? Good stuff. Good. There's a Mario Kart mushroom right there. Any blockheads over here? Okay. Don't see anybody. Should we go look anyway? Sure. Okay. Nobody's sitting right there. That's good. And then let's mosey up. I, a challenge run? Am I doing a challenge run? How do you define a challenge run? Okay, and then there's no bad guys there. We could see if the camp is back up here. The winter camp, which, hence by its name, normally only appears in winter, actually spawned last autumn. Am I looking in the right spot? I think it's the other side, that next set of berry bushes. We gotta watch out for Tatanka because it'll stomp our face. Yeah. Yeah, this is where the winter camp would be, so maybe we'll have it for the winter. That was the first time in the bazillion hours I've played this game that the winter camp appeared outside of winter. It was weird. Uh self imposed limitations. So typically oh shoot, we're heading well, we can cross the bridge at um Gustovi or Borowa. And we may find the um, crash cart along the way here. Ooh. Oh, leaves. What's in this? 15 coins. I'm rich, bitch. 
Anything along the Riverside? Nope. Uh, okay, so here's the limitations. Uh, we're playing three-day seasons, so very short turnaround times. Not much time to dawdle and dink around. Typically, I play seven-day seasons. Um, that's number one. Number two, I sleep at night. There are rare occasions I try to limit it to no more than once a season. When I, If I just get caught out, I get caught out. So... Uh, we're limiting ourselves to human length days. Number three, I've rewritten the story. So if you've been watching Gwen, they're playing on the Oxbow map. It's, a, it's completely different how it starts. So on the Oxbow map, let's park us here for a second. Oh, because we just actually, wait. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Okay. Um, on the Oxbow map, you are traveling somewhere and the caravan gets ambushed. And then you wind up waking up in the uh, infirmary at Piastovia. Not totally sure who you are, where you are, what you're doing. That's, that's the Oxbow story. The story here is you're Rasimir and you're a war refugee. Your family's been killed, your homeland's been you know destroyed by war, whatever. So you come to the valley looking for your uncle Jordan. You meet Unigost, who's the Castellan here in Gastovia. And he tells you your uncle Jordan's dead, but you're welcome to stay, build you a place, whatever, yada, yada, yada. And then you start working your way through the Unigost quest line, which I recommend delaying until you get a horse or you know money and can Uber around because it's a pain in the ass. All right, so the way we've changed this is my skill set is I'm a hunter and a farmer. My mom showed, taught me how to cook just basic dishes so I can make like pottage, soup, stew, stuff like that. Throw stuff in the pot, stir the pot, boom. Confetti. And I can go chop stuff out of the mine, but I'm not building a resource storage bu uh, building up at the mine uh, like I tip typically would. I would build a resource storage building up here at the North Mine, North Cave. And that way I could just shuttle, clean the thing out once a season, and then my guys would have tons of material to work with. Or I have tons of material to work with. So typically, I would work to build all of my skills. Now, my skills are building because I do little bits of stuff um, that, you know, you get skill points for. Extractions, cutting down trees and eating your lunch just like your old papa, or... You know, if I'm in the cave and I'm hacking away at a, with a pickaxe, you get credit towards extraction. Hunting, obvious, you hunt. Farming, obvious, you farm or take care of animals. Diplomacy is anytime you buy or sell stuff or complete quests or flirt with or, or talk with NPCs. Now, I'm, I went and grabbed a wife like season one, like spring or summer of the first season very quickly got married and she was pregnant by like the autumn of year one so that started the whole process on the dynasty aspect of the game from the drop it was underway from year one typically i wait seven or eight years playing seven or eight day you know seven day seasons and i don't sleep at night so i am constantly and so i can build a big ass village and have a ton of people but in, the restrictions and the trying to bring the story into a little more realistic aspect of it has made this enjoyable because you have to prioritize things. And you have to, you, and here's the other thing. My village is maxed, now, maxed out now. Okay. So there's me. There's my wife, Agnes. She's a woodworker and can uh, work in forestry. So like her dad raised her to, you know, be a, a girl who could swing an axe and then she could do stuff with the wood that she cut down. Neslawa, my cousin, who is, um, so she's, Neslawa is my air quotes cousin. So instead of just me coming to the valley, my whole family had a rally point of the valley. So everyone who survived, if the, the stuff hit the fan, the whole thing was, okay, guys, we're all going to the valley. We're going to, you know, Go to the valley, and we'll find each other. We're look because we know Uncle Jordan's over there. Yada yada yada. 
So there's Nayslawa, my cousin. She's pregnant. She's a seamstress, and she's I, I, she can um, she can uh, fish and forage. So that's Nayslawa. See how she's a three here. She's an eight here. Typically, when I'm playing, at least with my last go round on the Oxbow, what I would do is put people in jobs they suck at to get this one off the ledger to get it to a two at minimum. Because then when they marry and they have a kid, you want the numbers to be as high as possible. Well, instead of doing that, I'm focusing them on what they're good at. So Neslawa, she she could also sell goods, but we don't have the market unlocked yet. So she's been working in the, the uh, sewing hut her whole time. Oh, <gasps> we got, oh shit, Frida's pregnant now too. Oh, <gasps> zombie kids eek all right Grimhilda is hopefully going to be two in the next couple of seasons so that will get um Radamilla back in the workforce because when a woman has a baby she's out of the workforce for two years which is dumb as hell I don't know who the genius thought this up have you studied medieval times have you studied the medieval era you know women would out a baby and they'd be back in the field like the next day women were tough as nails back then okay so i don't know why the devs think women in the game should be soft and spend two years at home raising the kid no no put the kid in the crib i'll check on him at lunch and <laughs> i'm going to milk the cows get your ass back to work because that's what they did so, I mean, you had multiple kids. They may be, you know, it depends on what the husband did too. But because it was such an agrarian world, you had to do stuff. So, yeah, this is this is something they, I mean, if you want to keep them out of the workforce for a year, fine. But two years, that's ridiculous. All right, so now we got two problems, two problem children waiting to happen. And hopefully then Grimilda will be wandering around with Robert here before too long. So, yeah, my son Robert started off as a 2-2-2-2-3-3. Two, 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 three, three. And now all of a sudden is promoted up to a straight across threes and fours. Right? Yeah, because if, if they had, things would be a lot dirtier than they are. This is something I, I push, is that the thing that, to me, that's missing most from this game is stuff that you find in Farthest Frontier, which is a game I love. Now, that's just more of a city builder and strategy game um, because you have to deal with bandit attacks. If you want to, you can actually opt out and turn those off. But there's filth, pestilence, and disease. And you have to deal with drought ruining your crops or disease in the fields. You know, knocking out 20% of your crops or whatever and things like that. You have wolves that come into your, you know, close to your village will attack your villagers. N NPCs don't get attacked by, um, by aggressive animals in this. So there's a few things they could fix that would make it significantly better. Excuse me. Um, but, you know, it doesn't change my love of the game. I mean, I've got, I'm closing on a thousand hours in the game. And I love the game. The game's great. And I just I know that I know there's things I would do to improve upon the game. And I think they're starting to push towards a combat, more of a combat side of it. And that's okay. But if you made it so that when it rains, the paths get all muddy and it um you know, slows your your ability to travel. Unless maybe you're going across cross country or whatever, maybe it slows your your pace by twenty five percent or something, depending on you know. Say it it uh, say it's the first day of spring, and you just had the thaw. Everything's going to be shit, right? Cause first off, winter is com is always snow. So clearly we have cold winters, but when everything thaws, what's it going to be? Mud. Everything's going to be mud. So the first day after winter, depending on the temperature, travel conditions may suck. 
So you might want to stick around your village just farting around and, and you may not even be able to get the fields ready because it's too wet, right? And then maybe it dries out the next day and then you're back to normal. Uh, if you like city builders, check out Farthest Frontier. Now I do, I do have a video series on it, so go check that out in my playlist. It is beautiful. It is super cool. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. Like, here's a very simple thing. Filth. What did people do with their poop in this era? Well, if you had a bucket to crap in, okay, what'd they do with it? They threw that shit, literally, out the window. Out into the street, or maybe they had a place to compost it, if they even thought of that, in the backyard. Right? Now, Farthest Frontier deals with this because it has a poop counter that builds up in each of the houses. So you'll see there's this much. By they have a night's oil collector. So there's a guy with a big composting building and he goes around with a wheelbarrow and he empties out everybody's crappers. And he takes it back and it becomes a composting pile. And when that composting pile is full, then it goes through the composting process and then you can allocate it to your fields to fertilize them. So this game totally needs that aspect in, included. You know, where are your people going to dump their crap otherwise? Just like your people should be cooking for themselves, you shouldn't be cooking for your people. All right? Now, if there's a tavern, you know, maybe you set up a, hey, we're going to offer this, 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 and this. Hey, what's the soup du jour? Soup. No, but what, what's the soup of the day? Soup. <laughs> no soup for you. Stuff like that. It's these little kind of details and then rats. Now, we're not in the city, and rats were more prevalent, I think, in the city, but they were also in barns. So there, you can, in Farthest Frontier, you can build a rat catcher building, and you have to pay him, and then he'll go around and keep your food storage and, and area um, you know, clear of rats so you don't lose a percentage of your food to rats. And then I think also the presence of rats increases the, the, uh, the chance of disease. So there's that aspect of it. So there's lots of little things here um, that could be done to make this a little more realistic because it's just, it's too clean. Uh, one, other, one other thing is if you look our clothing, now this, this hat's 52.9% because I picked it up off a bad guy or at a spawn, a loot spawn. That's why it's not 100%. These shoes, my people made. And I'm going to sell those. These noble boots, I picked up at a crash cart. Simple tunic, same thing. I think we made it or I found it and it was 100%. But the clothing doesn't degrade. Food degrades tools degrade weapons degrade but clothing does not degrade so my thought on that is your clothing should degrade by a certain percentage each season and this should include your villagers too now as it degrades you could take it to the, the sewing hut and maybe they can make repairs okay so say your clothing drops down to 25%. It's starting to look pretty raggedy and shoddy on you. It's got holes in the knees and your elbows torn and there's stains on the shirt and whatever. You take it to your seamstress and they can repair it, but it only goes back up to 75%. Then you wear it down below 25%, repair it again, it goes to 50%. You see what I'm saying? It's still going to wear out over time, but you can extend the life cycle, the lifetime of it. Just but only a certain amount. Then that creates more of an incentive for you to have the sewing hut and make clothing and then have a clothing market that your people could buy from. And then they have new clothing and then they're going to be happier. Um, hide coats is something you've got to make in Farthest Frontier. Your people's clothing wears out, your shoes wear out, so you have to have um, 
you have to have those production buildings in your village or in your, your town to provide products for your people to go buy. And that way they are happier because they have new shoes or new clothes or whatever, baskets that make them more efficient at doing their jobs. So, yeah, it's stuff like that. Oh, here he is. Nimrod. Good day to you, sir. It really is good. Thanks to you, dear traveler. I'm in the I'm the father of the boy you found. I was just in the right place at the right time. Good thing that the boy is safe. He got a lot of soul for an explorer. You deserve reward. Take these coins is the least I could do. You know what? I'm a nice guy. My kid's worth a lot. We have 500. Were you able to bring him back exactly? Well, I was walking by. I heard him crying. He said he was following a white rabbit and got lost in the woods. Thankfully, I was able to find a way back to your settlement based on his tracks. Must be a really good pathfinder. I learned from the best. My father, that is, he was a great hunter, greatest hunter in the realm. Old man had more skills than hairs on his, more kills than hairs on his head. We have the pleasure of meeting him one day. That won't be possible. He's no longer with us. He's come to harshest illness there as pride. We finally find a match in his hunt? No, he... He has fallen unbeaten in that arena. However, he could never accept the fact that he's not as good of a swimmer as he is a hunter. The muscles of bears and wolves were no match for, for the uh, river's current. Oh. So you left your homeland? It is. My mother died during childbirth, so with my father being gone, there's nothing else keeping me there. I've decided to travel and find my own place. Uh, well. Huh. This just created a conundrum. We weren't going to make our village any bigger. I still don't think we're going to make our village any bigger. We have our 12 adults. Is it 12? Oops, just bumped the mic thing here. All right, I was going through this list. So we got Rasimir and Agnes. That's me and my wife. Neslawa and her husband. Tybald, I think? Or Tomil? Yeah, Tomil. Then we've got his older or her older brother, Swibor. So they're my cousins. Swibor is married is to Radamilla, the and they're, again, they just had a baby. I no competition. Then I've got my cousin, Sulagost, and he is hooked up with, her name begins with E. I got the, the name got goofy on here. Yeah, I had Siegfried, but it's actually a different name. Well, it's, it begins with an E. And then we found the couple Miroslav and Frida. Miroslav and Frida. They were friends of our family. And so now they're a part of the village. And then we found my brother Sobibor. And we've hooked him up with a lady named Bogdana. And I think that's it. Uh, so we don't know what Nimrod's skills are. We don't know anything. I was, I'm sure you'll find it. Safe travels. Okay, cool. See, we got 300 Dynasty rep out of that. So if I go back to the list here, yeah. Now, where, let's, can we talk to him again? Hang on. Oh, he's not talking to you. And see, we can't see his skills. That was the trick. See, if I can't see your skills, yeah, no, you need to, res you need to submit a resume to HR or through Indeed.com. What are you doing, kid? Dobie Slawa, she's been here a while. She sucks. Yeah, so these guys are average. All right, let's go see who's up here. Oh, Unigost. Oh, you. Hello, right. Unigost. Long I'm time no see. Met Wolrad recently. I do. That's why I'm here. Actually, I wanted to ask you about Kestrel. Seems you're following the path of Jordan's past just like you wanted to. Oh, so you've heard about her. Yes, Wolrad mentioned her by name and nothing else. Not my story to tell, he said. Unigost. <clears throat> That's um really strange. Why would he say it like that? Strange to Kess. Um, uh, she was part of the pack, and that would be it. Your attempt at being casual seems like you're having a stroke. You're right. I wasn't prepared for the topic. Her topic for her. Kestrel was. She. she he was in love with Kestrel. Okay. So, uh, yeah, he was in love with Kestrel, and Eorden was in love with her. Okay, so blah, 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 she shot him, blah, 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 Sambor, yeah, blah, 
fifth was for blah, 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 blah. So you betrayed, we started having, you betrayed Jordan. Blah, 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 blah. If you see her, tell her I, never mind. Okay. All right, so that, that gets that step out of the way because then we got to go see Sambor again because he'll tell us where to find her, even though I know where to find her. Uh, show me your wares. You got, uh, yeah, here, let me sell you some stuffs. Uh, sell you that mushroom. Buy that, buy that, buy those, buy that, and buy that. I'll keep the 83% one. Thank you very much. Uh, buy that. What else we got here? Uh, onions. I got um, potions of temperature by. Oh, she's almost out of money, so that's fine. And then we got to sell someone soup. Buy one of those. Cool. And 28 coins. 28 coins. Buy that. Cool. All right. So let's. How can I help you? Around the world collecting Wait. Wild animals. I'm going to pet them all. Okay. There's no sellers here. Who are you? Hody Slaw. Hody, Hody, Hody. Hodor. All right, let's go see Edwin. Hello oh, God, he's got a quest. Don't accidentally trigger the quest. Soup. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I cleaned him out. 11 coins left, huh? All right, can't afford nothing. All right, let's go see Adelina. Oh, it's you again. Yeah, it's me again. Oh, you don't have much money either. All right, Adelina, buy some soup. And then buy a torch. And then buy some water skins. And then buy some strange deer figurines. Okay, cool. That guy's light. We still got uh, a water skin, a pair of pants, and a deer figurine or three to Goodbye. sell. So now let's go see sub this guy with his pretty shirt. I want the pretty oh, shirt. You again. Want to see my wares? See, that's something else they could add in is your ability to dye shirts, clothing. You just got to have, you know, certain things, certain flowers, berries, whatever. Okay, here we go. We're good to go. Goodbye. Get the moo cows. All right, let me get my axe reallocated here, I think. Axe. There we go. All right, that sets us up, and then we are on mission. Okay, so we've closed out Lost. Now we need to go see Sambor again. Poo. Do we want to right now, though? Do we really want to? I mean, we could, I guess. It is a new season. So that means there may be some knuckleheads that need to be dealt with out here. So let's go see if there's knuckleheads to be dealt with. No bags. Let's just check over here. All right. We are in, we are on the bad side of the slope here from the knuckleheads. So we're going to skirt along the stream, head up towards the triple waterfall. Okay. And then once we get further up here, we're going to make the turn back towards the knuckleheads. Okay. So here's the broadleaf plantain field. Okay. And if there's knuckleheads, 
they would be right they would be right I see the path they would be right there okay all right let's go see what's up here then we'll run down and see Sambor basically that should set us up to go to Hornica and then we can start ubering around a little bit uh, we already grabbed this so yeah here this is empty all right camps not here let's go see if the highwaymen are up here to fart around because somebody wants to get shot tally ho multiple targets one six five dead ahead what gave it away a train that knucklehead standing right there next to the tree that's what gave it away you got to know what to look for now there's what you're really looking for a cart laying across the path okay so now this is all there's two on the left on the right okay and that's the one on the left all right so the trick here all right, there's one right there there's his head if we can get a good shot damn oh my god holy shit wow did he end us damn dude actually we, we just we just saved always quick save before you go into combat oh my god i know better than that too i just i've two mistakes i made there one I should have immediately backed off and gotten the tree between me and that guy because I, I forget there's a shooter on the left. That guy on the left clearly is a shooter. And he just managed to freaking peg us with a cheap ass wooden crossbow. And two, the, the tank comes after you from the right. Okay. So, well, hell, that just, everything just changed. Okay. Where are we then? Did I? Nope, I hadn't sold everything yet. Oh, okay, good. All right, so I've already done that part, so we just got to go back to sell our stuff. Okay. Let me sell all these. I got most of the soup. Okay. All right. Like good all right let's see if there's okay that's the kid wow man that was just that was painful all right so oh i said there were two things i did first i didn't put get i didn't get cover and concealment second i didn't back off to stretch the field uh because the tank was closing on me i got greedy and was going for the shot on the other shooter Okay. And that's where I, that's the mistake I made there. Two mistakes. Don't make two mistakes. One mistake you can live with. Two mistakes, not so much. All right, that axe and that axe we're selling. Iron shovel we're day can't buy it. Um do dum do dum do dum do dum do dum. Okay, well, he's broke. Have a good day. See you, bud. Needs to be done before winter. Dinner time. Adelina. Only the best products to work. Here, girl. I got some soup for you. Okay. And I got some pants for you. And I got some water skins for you. And I got one more water skin for you. What else do I got? 22 kilos? That means we've got something. Iron shovel. That's it. Iron shovel's three kilos. So that would drop us to 19. Okay. We're good. Have a nice day. Uh, she may have had more money. I'm sure I will. How can I help you? Only the best products to work. Well, here. Here's a new shovel to shovel your poop, your cow poop. 
Oh, and a couple potions of temperature. Yeah, combat load. Okay, good. All right, let's make sure we get this situated. And let's not screw this up this time, shall we? I think we shall not. So, two shooters, one left, one right. Both wooden crossbows with wooden bolts. And they will kill you, okay? I gave him way too much time to aim, and I was a stationary target. So, they'll shoot you in the chest or shoot you in the head, and you're, you're dead. Next time you see me, just lay on the ground because you're dead. Now, the so lessons learned there was there, there's two things. I, and I'm not totally 100% sure on this, but I think if I were to be off at distance and engage the guy on the left, I still think it activates the spawn. And the guy somehow magically comes and finds you, uh, the tank. And the other guy will somehow magically still shoot at you. So get trees between you and them or get defilade so that you're in a concealed position. Okay. And once again, the crash card is not here. And we're just Leroy's, Leroy Jenkins our way into this clearing. This is a bad guy camp spot right here. Okay. So we know the crash cart's there, but we cleared it last season. So watch again. I'll show you the cue points. So triple waterfall, you have this is spot 18 on the looting path in case you're new to the deal. We'll stop here. Okay. That's the campsite. That's the cart. Okay. So from this point, if you're going north or uh, southbound, okay, let's go to the map, show where we are. The ambush site is right here. Okay. Ambush site's right here. The cart across the path is the tell, unless you know to look for where the guys are hiding. Now, you just said 18. What's spot 18, A-Train? Eh, spot 18 on the looting path. Okay. We're, to, we're going backwards. We're going clockwise around it. And if you start at the start point, the first season, you go counterclockwise around this. Okay. So the green squares in the upper right where you see 18 and 18, green and yellow next to each other. That's below the triple waterfall. That's the campsite. And then the uh, crash cart. The bad guys are at spot 16. Okay. So that's where we're heading. And we know they're there because we just got dead. <laughs> We broke rule number one of the Dan Bongino show and got dead. Now, if you want this map, I can uh, post it up. It's on my community page here on YouTube. Or join us on uh, Discord, link in the description below, and I'll, uh, I'll put it on there for you to pull. But it, and then there's a corresponding video that's the first episode of season two on my playlist for Medieval Dynasty. And the episode on the thumbnail it says get more stuff and it will literally walk you through the process from from the start point through every step on that path now it doesn't all spawn at the same time it's all random but what i did was i ran that path like 30 plus times 30 40 50 times. I've, I've run this path bazillions of times now because you can redo it, do it every season and you're bound to get something different okay but I took screenshots of everything along that route. So in my walkthrough, I show you what to look for at every one of the locations. And then I also describe for you what you'll find. I've got it all written down in my handy dandy notebook over here to my left. Okay. So that's, that's how that works. All right. So now here's where we are. We're going to do this. We're going to quick save. Okay. Now, when you come up this hill, this patch of berries is where you want to cut off. Okay. Now you want to cut over to the, and see, now is your first inclination. If you're looking, you can see the guy there. There's a guy there too. You can see him. I think he's the, he's the tank. The guys with the white caps are the shooters. Now here's what we're going to do this time. Okay. So there's the guy I shot first. 
we're not going to shoot him. We're going to shoot him first. Okay, just to make sure that puts a little more range between us and the next guy. See that big, see these big maple trees? You don't want to go too far over there because too far over there is wolves. But if we can get over here, and do that. Okay, we just, shit, we put ourselves in a bad spot. Okay. Damn it. Come here. Okay, he's at, he's at max range. Again, we don't want to get too far over there because then you get in the wolves. So here's a big fat tree. Okay, so now he's resetting. So now we're letting the spawn reset. Oh shit, he can still see us. So he just took a shot. I'm not sure if I got him or not. Oh shit, there's that guy. <laughs> okay well that guy can see us all right so here's how oh he's back dude hi what's up how you doing thanks for dropping your knife i appreciate that it makes life easier jesus something just got me the dude on the right just shot me okay hang on we're gonna we're gonna back off here for just a second so now we gotta re whoop 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 nope we may still still be in <laughs> yeah no nope, we took a hit all right but we took the thug out so that that removes the the moving target variable 112 let's take one of these that puts it at 115 one two three we're back to full power okay okay now they should reset um the trick Okay, he still looks like he's standing there. However, he's got an iron bolt right in his face. He's still standing there, but he's in reset mode. Okay, he's clear. So now, we're going to maneuver this way. Now, We've got this tree between us and the west side guy who's right there. Now we can deal with this guy. Just like that. Nope, he's coming, he's shooting. Damn it! That, shit. Move, 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 move. Whoa, shit, that was close. Uh, okay. Whew. Holy crap, he got me again. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't have any apples or I'd be eating apples right now. Uh, Potion of healing. Yes, please. Okay. Let's just sit tight here for a second. Make sure there's no wolves sneaking up on us from behind. Because there's wolves right there and there's pigs up over here. Damn, those guys have gotten a little more accurate. Is that him I can see? Damn, it's getting warm in here. It's hot here in Dallas today. I mean, it's spring in Texas and stuff. All right, so while while we're doing dead arrow to the knee, yeah, I'm gonna have to go, <laughs> medic, <laughs> medic. Damn. All right. Whew. I'm starting to sweat, and I don't think it's just because of these guys. Oh, jeez. Uh, okay, there's that. So 
that. All right. Problem is, I haven't hit the guy yet. Because you want to narrow the odds. Two shooters makes it harder for you to get cover. So that's why it helps to get around kind of where I am on the east side. So that you've got cover and concealment from one of them at least. And... Go from there. Okay, so now, whoop, doop, don't do that. Behind the tree. Behind the tree. Crap. I missed. Where is he? Oh, there's the cart. Shit, he's right. Where is he? I'm going to die here, aren't I? Oh, that was close. Damn it, you son of a bitch. Nope. Damn it. I keep effing this up, and I don't... Wow. These guys don't miss. They don't miss. I've never had this much trouble with this. Good Lord. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Let's try, let's try redoing the uh, strategy here. And we're going to try the flank to the east. Wash your hands before eating, both in game and real life. The other option isn't a great option. Because you could, you could go across that bridge and flank up the west side. There's pigs on that side. Okay. Now, shit. God damn it. God damn it, not this. Stupid shit. Go, 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 go. We gotta get out of range here quick. Because this guy's going into defensive mode. All right. Come on. Come on, son. Right here. Bitch. All right. And once again, we got seriously effed up. I thought I would block him, but they have that crossed arms Wonder Woman block deal going. Or actually kickstart this a little bit here. Medic! Sound like Sergeant Zim on Starship Troopers. Okay, there's the first one. Right there. Got him. Down. Okay. That helps. 
I watch a random wolf or pig walk up here and chompy chompy chewy chewy chomp on my ass. Yep, there we hear him. Okay. Problem is, I can't see him. Not from here. This added flora in here is part of the problem. Target, target, target. There he is. Just jerk the shot. Jerk the shot. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Do I have enough trees between me and him? Jerk the shot. Got him. He's down. All right, we got it. Okay, Leroy Jenkins time. Nope, he ragdolled. And this guy ragdolled. All right. Jeez, bitches. All right, where's the... Where is he? First off... <laughs> oh, here he is. He's finding my freaking bolt stuck in his ass. Give me my, give me my bolt back. Drop him in the weeds. Shoo! Thanks. That was a, oh, oh, that explains it. Copper bolts, 45 damage, and an iron crossbow. What in the ass? And he has an iron zombie beat him over the head stick. Damn, these dudes were equipped, not stripped. He got an iron crossbow too. What? Upgrades and an iron spike cudgel. Damn it. Yeah, no. Okay, GG to these guys. That's not something I ever say. They never have iron crossbows. It's always wooden crossbows. And they don't carry um, iron spike cudgels either. So the bad guys have gotten an upgrade in weapons. So yeah, those copper bolts were a whole lot of hurt. And that explains why I got a whole lot of dead. But now, nope. Joke's on you, pal. Let me see if I got more. Yeah, I got more bolts laying around here. I got to clean the battlefield here real quick. I want the stick. Anything else? Oh, there's something else. Oh, did I get you twice? I guess I did. Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Gimme. Give Gimme Give my bolt back. Gimme Give my bolt back. I see it. If I can see it, I should be able to take it. Oh, wait. I thought I saw one little spot. One little... You jerk. This is why I say to you. You know what? Dude. Seriously? That's what you get. Oh, 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 I did see it. There. Uh, there. <laughs> Got it. Give me my stuff back. All right, hey, appreciate you uh, coming on board, Kenneris. Good seeing you. Hope you have a great rest of your uh, weekend. Let me wash my hands here because, you know, just kick some ass and it, it gets messy. So they put these um, bushes in the way here so you can't see the trunk over here as easy. All right. Where are we? It's day one. Ooh, 1712. Well, you got to see some fun. All right. We are going to haul ass and just make the run up to Knucklehead's place.
and we do have to be concerned about possible threats on the route again damn that took some effort but boy they were a good shots which isn't totally unexpected but the fact that they had iron crossbows and copper bolts that's what was causing me i should have realized like go oh, dude that's a whole lot of hurt going on right here uh this pile of schmutz is from last season so there shouldn't be anything here we grab this in the spring you can come off the looting path to this if you see it and again they put bushes here to help conceal it but um Yeah, that's, that's just off the looting path. It's at the north edge of the map. That's why I didn't indicate it. But that would be a spot that I would include too. So. Cheers to you. Appreciate you. Okay, we're going to keep moving here. Now. We are going to maneuver up the right side of the path here. In case there's a bad guy camp there. It's up here on the left. If it's here. Of course, with now with all the fall colors, fire is going to blend in a little bit better. Okay, I see the stinking badger. Okay, let's move. It's getting to be evening. And that makes A train nervous. Part of the reason is. Oh, oh, oh. We're going to rest here for a second. Jesus, bird? Woof. Bird freaking spooked me. Okay. There's, there's where you'll find the bad guy camp. We're going to cut just east. I really want to avoid the wolves. We've been shot at, shot up, and shot down here. All right. Need to know where to find Kestrel. Oh, Jesus. Oh, gosh, we got to go get food for him. Okay. Uh, okay. Damn. All right, we're going to take the eastern route back. I mean, the western. Wait a minute. Why is it? F I'm not. Oh, sh I'm taking this. Never mind. <laughs> Commit and go. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Okay. Never mind. I was going to. I was going to cut across to Borowo, and I bollocks that up. So. <laughs> Great. I unfortunately we're not going to have all that stuff in in stock. I think he wants like twenty of everything.
This might could be the campsite here. I felt like it was further up though. But a flat dirt spot like that, you can bet there's probably a camp spawn associated with it. Associated? Yes. <laughs> Asphyxiated? Something. <sighs> okay, how much do we need for this douche melon? Yep. Beetroot, onions, cabbage, and carrots. He makes he can make uh, vegetable soup out of all that crap. So we're gonna head back home. We know we've got cabbage, we've got beetroot, and we've got onions. We do not have carrots. So we're gonna have to going to Gustovia tomorrow and buy some. Hopefully we can get enough. Otherwise we're going to have to goof around and uber around to find it. And then we got to run back up there. See, this is how annoying this is. I mean, yeah, this would be beneficial to have a mount. But working through these trees and these ambushes and all that stuff, that's where the mount becomes a problem. Once you've unlocked where the animal spawns are and once you get familiar with where the bad guy spawns are, you can work the system so you don't put your mount in jeopardy. You can, you know where the threats are, you stop at the edge of the threat zone, and then you go, you know, dispatch with the threat. Then you go back and retrieve your mount and continue on. This is why I'd rather Uber around and just travel on foot. It's just a big pain in the ass to deal with the mount. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. It made sense when I said it. Why am I getting a calendar indication? Oh, never mind. That's on Facebook. Like, my Google Calendar has crapped out. Or I should say they've taken it away from me. You're gonna come wandering in tonight. My wife's gonna be like, "What happened to you?" Well, <laughs> yeah. Let me let me explain. We went looking for trouble. We found trouble. <laughs> we got our ass kicked. But we're we're still here. Um, okay, he doesn't want roasted meat, so let's just eat that, and then gather up what we need for him, which is twenty of each. So we have twenty of these. Okay. Oh, 20 of these. Let's give them the crappy stuff. And then we got 16 of these. Oh, nope. We got enough. Okay, cool. All right. Well, let me keep the good ones then. All right. So 10, 4, so I can put 5 of these back. So 4... 8, 10, 20. Okay, so then we just need 20 carrots, which we don't have, I know. Because we got rid of carrots. All right. What time is it? 21.35. That's not too late. Okay. Oh, my house is damaged again. Son of a... Mmm. I got to fix that roof, obviously. 
four straw. Oh God. Maybe eight straw. Excuse me. Okay, this is why it helps to reinforce the buildings, but I mean. Oh, sheesh. All right, grab more. Just grab, let me just grab a bunch of stuff and fix it. Um, oh, we only have five logs. Nope. Okay, should be enough. Let's go fix everything here real quick. I'm so glad I settled down here. Good, settle down. All right, are we back to 100% here? Looks like it. Okay, let's fix my house. I still haven't upgraded my roof. Okay, the house should be good to go now. Okay, the house is good to go. Anything else? Probably the farm shed or the chicken coops. They typically get dinged up between seasons. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so now let me just check the list here. All right, houses, no damage. Extraction, no damage. Hunting, no damage. Farming, no damage. Animal husbandry, no damage. Production, no damage. Storages, oh, food storage. Oh, there it is. That's right. I even saw that earlier. Anything else? Alright, we're good to go. Alright, that fixed the village up. Now. Jeez. Huh. <sighs> Okay. Nope. Um, got another hammer we could sell. Let me look at our wood situation here. So we, 285 is our demand. We have 1310, so we have plenty of firewood, and I think we're producing enough. The thing is, we're burning through a lot of logs. Making firewood, planks, and bowls. <laughs> we sell the bowls with the food we make. <laughs> hmm. So we got to figure something out there. Who's our, who's our lumberjack? Swibor. He's only a four. Okay, but he's about to go to five, which means how much he brings um, each season will go up. Uh, we may consider building a second um, deal. All right, let's get over to Gustovia. And hope we can get 20 carrots. And then we'll run over to Borowo. We'll sell stuff. And then we'll head back. We'll head out to Sambor's place. We'll get our answer from Sambor. Um, and then actually we may head back and save the next step for next season. That field's ready. That field's ready. 
That field hasn't been harvested yet. Uh, this field's in the process of being harvested. And that's, oof, yeah, there's a lot of work to do here. Okay, yep, we got a lot of farm work to do, so we can't totally fart around with his quest this season. We can do that in winter. Because when you go to find Kestrel, you got to take a potion of sobriety. Okay, that saves a big circle jerk. Um, give to her, you do what she says, you go find the medic. Um, then you got to go back and find her. Well, I mean, it's easy to find her at that point. Um, then you wind up going to Jezerica. Then you have an option on getting an item for the dude. Or you have to go to Borowo and go back to the Riddler chick again to get his item back and then go back to like Jezerika. Shoot, she's not here. Where is she? I have stuff to buy from you. What time is it? Nine o'clock, people. What what how's this village run? See, here's another goose house. and I didn't look in it. I kind of glanced around. I was really hoping that they'd make our uh, the goose thing. Okay, where's Adelina? Is that Adelina? Nope. I like when it's time to pay taxes. We've got many dollars today. Okay, here's Doby. Doby. interest me in that and then you can buy that and you can buy nope can't buy that you can buy that um i think we're Adelina, ah, there she is. Adelina. God dang it. We need five more carrots. Oh, um, I don't think Edwin will have them, but maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe I'll have some. Come on. You have, ah, good. Thank you. Got it. Take care. Thanks, bud. All right, let's go. So, after this trip up to Sambor, um, then it's basically you're working the southern part of the map. From there, you're you're to Hornica. Northwest of Hornica, back into Hornica, over to Jezerica, back to Hornica, back up to Northwest of Hornica, I think. And then you're back to Gust Gustovia. And that's when you close it out. Like I said, circle jerk. How do you do? Five more. Only the best products here. Good. Here's a hammer. Okay, that. That, that, um, I 
cool. I think we're good. Wait, is there potions? No, we're good. Kay. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. Now we're going to take the path back out there that I was going to take. There is an abandoned campsite up here on the right where the wolves are. It's over in that area. Wolf, wolf, wolf. Where's the other one? Where's his buddy? Where's your buddy? Where's your buddy? Shit, missed the shot, missed the shot, missed the shot. Hold, hold, hold. Jesus. Is there another one? There's another one somewhere. Yikes. Missed a shot. Exfil out to the north. Let's get around this guy and keep moving. All right, butthead. That's it. Okay. Now we know where she is. She's in Hornica. <clears throat> that wolf right there? It is. Did he just walk across our path? He did. Yeah. Oops. Smart ass. You thought you were going to catch me off guard. I saw you first. Nice try. Now, let me just check this real quick because I haven't, I think going forward, what can I do for you? Have a good day. Now all of a sudden he's not such an ass. Um, I think once you finish the Unigost quest line, he becomes a dealer, and you can um, buy toys for your kid from him. All right, all the wolves are down. All the wolves are down, the wolves are down, and the cry is gray, and they're... 
<laughs> Wait, and their fur is gray. And their fur is gray. I went for a jog, uh, for a jog in the valley way. In the valley way. I was heading south, uh, heading south down the Hornick. Uh, shoot, that didn't work. Hornick away. Except I just used the word way. We only use the word way twice. Twice together like that. train this is not the way to Hornica. that's correct it is not you'll find the abandoned camp over here there's a couple of places where you can find occupied camps too and you can find an abandoned camp right down there too Like that. But there can be an occupied camp right over there. Nice. Let's grab some stuff, shall we? I think we shall. Hello? Hello? Give me the beat him over the head stick. Give me the bucket, too. What's in there? What's in there? What's in there? Nothing. 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 Basket. Bucket. Fish. I know. I don't have to take the firewood, but I am. Fish meat. It's kind of fishy. Okay, there should be a bag of coins somewhere. I think. Maybe. Yes, no, maybe so. Maybe not. It may be over in the bushes here, though. Not that I'm fussed about a few coins. I don't need them. Okay. That said... Oh, there's another bucket. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get going. Now, there is... Your potential bad guy camp is right up here. Again, it's defilade from the road, so you can't see them, okay? Because there's this cart here, and this cart, which we've already found, actually. <laughs> that, made the, that made the fart sound, not me. I mean, I made the one. Okay. But yeah, that cart is, is sets you up for an ambush. You get attacked from up above, so... Check up above and then get the cart. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to Diddy Mal and get over to um, Wait, what time is it? 14.13. Okay, we can we can get a couple of steps done here. Because then once we get... <sighs> we got to talk to Kestrel. Then we got to go find the medic who's out in the woods. And there's um, Tatanka out in the woods. So... And we'll save just a little bit of money by switching to Geico. Um, you could run up to the other side of the village to catch the Uber, or you just get across the bridge and catch the Uber Gustovia. It'll save you a little bit of money. Not that money's an issue, because it's not. But try to put us a little bit closer. I don't know. Seems like the time is pretty much the same. Where are we on stinky factor? We're kind of stinky. 
That should help clean us up a little bit. We were 23, that guy's to two. That's good enough. Whack. All right, so here we go. We're going to carry out. How are you? Good. You ride to Hornica. Okay, so we go to Hornica. Take a left, right in the town. We're going to go see um, Jan Hammer first. If he's here, he's not. Come on, people. Damn it. All right, so this house over here is where you find Kestrel. And yeah, it's gross. It's like, get Rasmir, blah, 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 blah. Come back, okay? Here, drink this. You're alive. Okay, she's going to say blah, 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 blah. Friend of mine did pretty well. I guess your friend, Jordan. I know about that, too. So you know a lot, kid. We were all part of the pack. Happy days. You're ready to handle the realness, aren't you? I am. Okay, so they talk about all this crap and go through all this and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Um, only the truth. Still points to Jordan being a killer. Truth's always a bitch. Never pretty, never certain. Full of doppelgangers and dirty. Blah, blah, blah. He was an extraordinary man. That's what everyone says. Truly brilliant. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, everybody loved him. Um, kept him grounded. Blah, blah, blah. Unigos. Blah, blah, blah. He probably knew Jordan better than anyone else. He was a brother and nevertheless couldn't have hurt him. He did have an affair with, uh, so you know about that as well. Seems that Unigos and you grew really close together. Yes, he did. I did. And I'm sure that Jordan knew all about it. Are you serious? Deduce the colors. The man could deduce the color of ladies' knickers just by hearing her laughter. He knew about it. Why didn't he say anything? Blah, 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 blah. The boy wasn't his. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Think he was murdered. All right, here's where we first find out that we think that Uncle Jordan was murdered. Makes you say that. What well, do you know about his death? Blah, 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 blah. He died in his sleep, but really he didn't. Okay. Sounds very far-fetched. Okay. I managed to find out the location of the medic who was examining Jordan's body and who decided to burn the corpse in the same day, which already seems bizarre. Have you talked with him? No, I wanted to, but my demons caught up with me. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe suspects as well. Okay. All right, so now we got to go find the medic. Okay? So. All right. So let's go weapons hot. Let's find... Um, Let's go see Jan Hammer real quick. Pick up some uh, extra crossbow bolts. Restock what we Jan, yeah, there he is. How are you? Oh, you haven't changed in your work clothes. Can I interest you in some of my words? Uh, yeah. Let me sell you some crap that I really don't need, like a crappy bucket, a cudgel. Don't need this bucket either. We'll save the other. One. No, we can make buckets easier. Uh. I'll keep the fishing spears. We'll keep the fur. What's my weight load? Uh, the firewood. Eh. Um, I don't want to deal with cooking this. Buy that. I got a bunch of meat. Roasted fish meat. Salted fish meat I don't want. Okay. 36 kilos. We do have a potion of weight. Okay. I need some... Let me... We're down to, oh, gee, 23 rounds. <laughs> okay, I guess we're all right. So give me uh, 17 more. Thanks. So you, have you ever wondered what a world without kings would look like? All right, so now. Okay, so the dude we're looking for is 188 meters to our northwest. So let me look, show you on the map here. Well, no, wait. Uh, he's in that yellow area. Okay. 
Problem is, there's wasn't in that area too. He's he's actually right here, I think. I think that's our target zone. But to get there, I think we're gonna go north around. I don't want to foo foo around with this. I want to get it done. So once we get this step done, we go back and talk to Kestrel. Kestrel, Kestrel tells us we need to go to Jezerica. Okay, and at that point, we will put the story on hold, and we will Uber back home and help take care of the farming because we're going to be basically down to the last day of the season and then need to do the farming work. So 90 meters due ahead, dead ahead. Oh, Hello, Iron Axe. Thank you. Very nice. We could actually use these. Anything else? No? Okay, so we're going to get up here not quite the Wolf Ridge, and then we're going to cut west. I just don't want to deal with shooting and carrying all the crap for... You know what? We're going to Uber home anyway, though. There's a fox. All right. So he's actually dead ahead. There's moose, and there's Tatanka over here. And there's his camp. And the dude's blind, or so he claims. Dieter. So a medic. Relic, medic, medic, medic. He's deaf. That's me. Won't remember anyway. When did you ask? You my grandson? Shh, afraid you were. So you've seen his body. I haven't seen anything. Go away. It's important. It years ago. Don't remember any leads. Why you need? I'm his n nephew. Be better if you dropped it. Safety reasons. I'm not joking. I don't want to end up the same way as Jordan. So he is, he's living in isolation. So he does not get murdered. What if I can get you out of the valley? Uh, it's my home. And okay, you get a horse and some supplies. I'll tell you what I know. Great. I'll get on it. I need somebody to escort me too. I want a wife as well. Forget it. You can actually, I think, take a whole bunch of his crap here. But we're not going to worry about that. All right. So now we got to get back to um, Kestrel. And in doing so, we're just going to exfil back the same way we came in. Exfil, A train, what the hell? Yeah, we, we infill, traded. And then we're going to exfiltrate. Shit. Where are you? There he is. Okay. You want to come see me? Come see me. Come on. Come on. No, no, no. Just, just, just come on. She brought your buddy. I don't want your buddy. You come see me. Come on. Holy Jesus. He brought the whole family. Come on. I'm not sure that the back one didn't think that he just got shot too. Go, Be good. Go the other way. Screw you, hippie. Come on. I got 40 rounds. Come on. That's how you wipe out the Buffalo Bills. Just shoot him in the face. All right. Fine. Didn't want to do it. I, you guys saw. I just wanted to deal with the one that was coming my way. And and the rest of the family came over to see what was going on. So, hey, that's on you guys. I'm just saying. Okay, we're going to go up on our... Um, yeah, shoot. I'm just going to take weapons now. Weapons and ammo. Weapons and ammo, people. Weapons and ammo. I can't deal with the weight. Even if I... Um, The body will, st oh, that'll be next season. The body will probably be gone. I don't care. I don't need, I mean, I could use the hunting points, but I don't need them. Now, here's why I set that waypoint where I did. 
because we don't want to wander all the way up here because there's Wolf Ridge. So I'm trying to stay just out of range of Wolf Ridge. We're actually going to cheat right because we're slow at this point. And I ain't going to fart around with it either. Give me that potion of weight. I got us there. Full power available. Plus, um, if you're overweight and you try to Uber, he'll charge you extra. But if you take a potion of weight, as long as you're still, uh, it, it, it balances it out. Okay. So, game plan. We go check in with Kestrel. Kestrel sets the next step in motion, which is go to Jezerica. And we can Uber to Jezerica from Gustovia. And then we have to go back to Borowo. And then we go back to Jezerica. And we come back here. And then we go, uh, where's Kestrel? She's still in the house. Or she's sitting outside now. Oh, there you are. On your feet again. Gordon was murdered, okay? Not yet. The old medic wants to tell me. He wants a way to convince him. to help him escape in the valley. Good work. You need a horse, supplies. Okay, she can handle the horses. I'm close with Leonard. Uh, need you to get the rest. Supplies, we get some coins, preserved meat, water skins filled to the brim. As for the protector, try talking with Dama Gaj and Jezerika. He owes, him a, owes her a favor. Okay? So that's it. Now. So we effectively have four steps left, five steps left in the uh, Unigos quest. I consider upgrading my wagon. How do you do? Good, near ride. Take me to Denica. Let's go from Denica. Up. All right, there's a pile of leaves. I don't want to deal with the pile of leaves. Let's just see if there's anything else we have to deal with. Linksy, get out of the way. Little snot. Okay, bad guy camp would be right here with big pikes. And that's what we were looking for. Kind of just worked our way around the piggy. It's all good. Rabbit? No camp up here. Doink. So I'd walk into the tree. Just keep running, just keep running. All right. That camp probably that camp's probably not going to spawn because we've built too close to it. I have seen them there before. Bandits, bad guys, yeah. Okay, so she's processing that. That's been harvested. The beetroot has not been collected, though. So that we need to we're gonna knock out real quick. We've got to drop all this uh, meat that we have, though. Let the meat drop. And uh, the other foo-foo stuff. Yeah, that's 34 kilos of meat. Plus, we've got a lot of leather and stuff. Okay, so we're going to drop firewood, fishing spear, fishing spear, fur, uh, extra iron axe, leather, basket, planks, wizard skull, wood vial. Okay, all right, sweet. Let's go gather up the beetroot. But first... Let's gather up the poo. 
process that real quick. It's funny how the male pigs are disgusting and the female pigs are clean. Yeah, I heard you. Make some fertilizer. Gather the beetroot and then we'll call it a night. Uh, yeah. That. Okay. Wait, do I still have any? Uh, no, that was 60 manure. If it's full up, it's 60 manure. So you have a nice even number that will give you 30 fertilizer. All right, here we go. Right here. So I'm kind of straddling the line between the two sets of tiles. You figure out the, the size of the tiles, it makes it much more efficient to do your work. Plus we have the potion of weight in effect right now, so this is actually a smart move. Without it, we would probably overload. Hey, all right, we get stable. Not that I need a horse. Could afford one. You can't afford it. You can't afford it. And his father's an alcoholic. He wants some ice cream. He wants some ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream. Wanna lick? Psych. Yeah, there we go. Right at the end of full up. All right, so that takes that off of her list of things to do. See, she's already got this field um, planted with rye. So now we've harvested. This field's already planted with rye. So she's got the planting done. And she's got the harvest of the cabbage done. And we got a shite ton of beetroot. Cool. That worked out. All right. Let's eat something here. Let's get this dried fish meat off. And then we can eat. Cool. Pull up. All right. That's, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, 11 o'clock. Coming to bed at a reasonable time. So got the stable unlocked we're about to have the bigger house i don't, I don't know if we're going to do anything with that getting close on herbalist hut too we need a uh, we could upgrade our hunting lodge but i only have a couple of hunters hunting lodge one it gives you two hunting jobs hunting lodge two gets four um there's the horse stable which allows us to do the arbor trellis that's fancy and then over here, here's the big deal. Sewing hut two, and then kitchen two. Sewing hut two unlocks uh, wool thread and wool fabric, uh, tunics, and fur boots. And you can do some you can do some simple stuff. Plus the laundry station and the clothesline decorations. That to me makes no sense. This stuff should be. I mean, let us build stuff, right? That don't make no sense. Decorations to me should be available. You know, the, the whole, the, you can't make any money off of them, right? So, okay. Good, Agnes doesn't have a quest for us, thank goodness. But, I think we're going to give her a gift. She's still kind of upset with us. Hey, honey. Hello, husband. How's our little kingdom? Good. Okay. Uh. Oh, never mind. Her affection is a hundred percent. Good luck. Yep. Nope. Not giving her a gift. Not yet. When their affection is a hundred percent, you don't need to give a gift. I think my hairline is receding. 
Okay. Well, your hairline may be receding, but my time is receding. So we're going to quick save here. Put us in that hold right there. We have day three of autumn of year five. Then we go to winter, then we move on to year six. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Three hour stream, three days played. There you go. <clears throat> three hour tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm A Train, and I appreciate you checking out my channel. Uh, if you would give us a like, please. Share with your friends, let them know about the channel. Let them know about Medieval Dynasty, now available on Steam from Render Cube Games and Toplitz Productions. Subscribe for more great content coming soon. Turn on that bell icon so you know when we go live or upload a video. Uh, join us on Discord. There's a link in the description below. Become part of the A Team. And you can help uh, support the channel financially if you have a few coins laying around want to throw our way by donating at PayPal. And there's a link in the description below for that as well. But otherwise, throw in a comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I appreciate you being here hanging out with me on a Saturday afternoon. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.